Okay, I believe... I believe I'm now live. There seems to be some problems with the stream. So... If... If it keeps, um... Crashing or going down... I think something's wrong with Twitch today. So... Who knows? Anyway... This is Hotline Miami 2. Wrong number. I did not stream the first one. So you'll probably have to play that yourself if you want to see the story. Anyway, let's, um... Let's begin. There is a whole thing in the very beginning that I skipped while trying to window the game. And now I don't think I can ever see it again. It was like a pre-thing. This party stinks. Fucking hate these people. Is that a duck? Who invited all these morons? What do you guys think about tonight? Are we gonna do it? I don't see why not. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, let's do it. The weapons are in the car, right? So we are actually going doing this? Yeah, let's go do it. If you've, um... If you've never played this game before and you're very confused, that's to be expected. Just don't worry about that. You know, talking animals. It's all really normal stuff. Do it. Cory, roll dodge. So these are um, the different masks. I only have zebra head right now. I've not played this game at all. This is brand new for me. I mean, I played the first one. I got fairly decent at it. Whoa! So, so that's how this game works. You are a guy. You, you're a hitman type guy. And this game is not fucking around right from the start. Look at that. Oh shit! I'm going to assume... That... The game assumes you've played Hotline Miami 1. So these aren't like, like, like little bullshit tutorial missions. This is the real deal. Alright, so already the music is awesome, of course. It's, it's gory, it's bloody as fuck, and it is amazing. Um, basically, if you get, like, hit, hit once, you're, you're dead. Floor cleared. Alright, next floor. Um... So, I try to do melee, I try to switch it up so I can get a better score. But I'm gonna bring this, um... Uzi with me. So you can look around a little bit and kind of plan. What you're gonna do? Oh shit! Chain. That's new. All right. So I got an Uzi. Oh, there's a pistol here. I got a pistol. Wait, can you do? I, I think I remember seeing dual wielding. How do you do that? I don't want to do that. Ah! Oh shit! Damn it. Dual wielding is only for bear mask. Alright, never mind that then. Sometimes it- Oh! 
Sometimes a good strategy is to kind of lure them out by shooting. We'll, we'll just call that a strategy. That's fine. Okay. We need more music. Love this pause menu, by the way. List sound effects, more music. No! Let's fuck that one up. You could lock on with the middle mouse button. I don't really often do that. You know? I knew about it, of course. I, I didn't know about it. I'm not kidding, I didn't know about it. I played through the whole first game without knowing about the lock on, because... I played it... Then, like, two months later, I came back to it. That is incredibly convenient. My god. You can't really lock on if you're in, like, the heat of the moment. You, you kind of have to be quick on your feet. But I can kind of, like, lock on to this guy when he turns around the corner. Wow. Wow, if I had, I had only known about this in Hotline Miami 1, that would have... I would have finished the game in, like, half the time. Maybe not half the time. Maybe 10% of the time would have been taken off that playthrough. Dude in there, and that's I think the last dude. I cut him with a knife. Cut him, guys! I cut him up. I cut him up real good. I cut him up real good. What have I done? Oh God! What have I done? I feel so terrible. B minus. It's a little poopy. Mask unlocked. Oh, I got Tony. I think uh, Tony was in in the previous game. Is that a guy with a fucking parrot on his shoulder. Amazing. Happy Halloween, sir. You ordered three pizzas, right? It'll be fourteen fifty, sir. Your pizzas are on the counter to your left. Enjoy your meal. And watch out for ghosts tonight, okay? Bye! It's my pizza. Nineteen ninety one. And pizza was cheap in nineteen ninety one. Con as usual, today's hearings remaining completely silent. Meanwhile, the protests outside the courthouse continued loudly. Leaving already? You don't look too good. Are you okay? A stressful day. You wouldn't believe what they have me doing. I should probably go home and get some sleep. All right, you have a nice night. You too, sweetheart. Second scene, homicide. This game is insane. Nope. Nope. No. Oh shit! Hey, I'm here to buy a gun. You guys got any guns?
No one heard that. I. No one heard that gunshot. This is. Oh. Oh, I'm. No one can see me right now. Okay. How about this. Gotcha. There's a shoddy in the boot. What? What boot? What do you mean? I can't give it back to the car if that's what you mean. Super fun. Super fun Tendo. My favorite gaming system. Apparently you should check the trunk. Resolution is a bit fucked. That's kind of how the game looks. That's that's just how the game looks. Um, I can't get back to the car. So, never mind that. Ribbeth. Binding of Isaac Ribbeth. Is that how I spelled it? Balls that up real hard. game isn't taking up the whole screen. Yeah, that's that's the resolution. That is the the resolution in the game. Hang on. Um what I could do is I could force an auto crop. And you're still going to get black bars at the bottom because the resolutions of this game are pretty limited. So How did I survive a shot? Did he not hit me? I'm like, stunned that that dude did not hear me. You can survive a few shots. Yeah, it's weird because the resolution of this game is like forced into a very specific sort of resolution and this widescreen effect I can't get rid of. Drop your weapon and get down on the ground now. Don't shoot, I'm a detective. Here's my badge. Oh, sorry, sir. Lower your weapons, boys. What's the situation in there? We heard gunfire. Yeah, go look for yourselves. It's a bloodbath in there. And sometimes I hate this city. There is a shotgun in the trunk. That is... that is correct. I'll utilize that next time I can. C minus. That wasn't good. I didn't chain any combos together or anything. Another murder case, huh? Yeah, it looks like you've got a serial killer on your hands, Pardo. Same MO as the guy we found last week, message and all. I'm innocent, they forced me to do it. Yeah, right. Haven't we heard that one before? Guy must be some kind of psycho. Everyone's got the same voice in this game. Creeps me out. Guess I'll make the press happy, though. Goddamn vultures. All the murders in the city, I doubt they'll even care. Seems like they need buckets of blood before they even raise an eyebrow. It's just seems a bit too standard. No gory details. Yeah, the city sure makes your skin thick, huh? It's boring with a thick skin. 
<laughs> you guys found any clues? Not really. He got his throat slit. Haven't found the murder weapon yet. No fingerprints, no witnesses. Nothing. I'll let you know if anything turns up. You do that. I'll head down to the station and get started on the paperwork. Alright, have a nice night, sir. Yeah, we'll see about that. We both got the same exact voice. Isn't that weird? Born with thick skin. Why is this... Why are you guys repeating that? That's like a normal thing to say, kind of. Is it a meme? Did you guys make it a meme? Am I supposed to be laughing? So who's this guy now? This is a different guy. This guy's got... What is that green coming out of his stomach? What the fuck is that? It's got like an alien chest burster. It's Eric from Miami Auto Repairs. I'm calling to tell you that we have finished your service. Hello? Who is this? Let me talk to your boss, okay? Swing on by Northwest 12 Avenue place and pick. Hey, I'm talking here! We guarantee you the best service in town. Click. Will you hang up on me? Damn it! Show some goddamn respect! They didn't show any respect. This guy's got a confederate flag on his, uh... throws on his couch This level is kind of insane right off the bat. Jesus. And this is the very beginning of this game. Shotgun. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking flying. I need that. I need that. Oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it, guys. This game is no mercy. No mercy. So the best way to do this... Maybe 
you like that. Like that. Grab that gun. Shoot this guy. Grab a shotgun. Ah, oh, damn it! You know, it's funny because that shotgun, I picked it up so I could get like multiple guys at the same time. Nope. Sweet music, though. Fuck. Wow, these these guys don't give a shit about this place. Just shooting. Breaking computers, copy machines, no fucks given. Ah! Hopefully there's nothing too valuable on these computers. Yeah, this is definitely a gun level. This is definitely a gun level. What the fuck? I shot the door into him. That's definitely one of those things that you rage at in Hotline Miami when you shoot the door instead of the guy. doing that wrong. I keep staying still after I shoot. You can't... In Hotline Miami, staying still is very bad. Very bad. See, like that. That could have been very bad. Oh! Fucking hell, guys. I fuck the combos. Dude, there. Alright, got that dude. 
Who's next? Who's left? This guy. Alright, finally, stage is done. Any secrets? You guys know of any secrets around here? Isaac didn't start yet. We're gonna do Isaac after this. Re rebyth. Binding of Isaac rebyth. Ah, I threw my gun by accident. Damn it. Jesus, I don't know you can cave in someone's skull by throwing a gun at them. It's pretty fucking cool though. Alright, that guy... See, I'm trying to do some melee stuff here, but it's not really working out. I don't know what's happening, guys. There's goblin noises. Ah, shit. I'm sorry. I keep making goblin noises while playing this game. Which is unexpected. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where it's coming from. Alright. Alright. Don't worry, no one's here. It's gonna be okay. It's okay, alright. Two guys. He's like, boss, how come you're not talking, boss? But boss But 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 boss, where did your head go? <laughs> that was a better score. See. Still not a good grade, but Irvin the Snake. You don't unlock weapons in this one? Hey there, welcome. What can I help you with? Oh, I'd like to get a tattoo. Right, you got anything particular in mind? I want old Dixie. Right here on my shoulder. Okay, sure. Let me see here. Alright, how does next Friday 2 p.m. sound? Friday? What do you mean? You can't do it now? Has to be today. Today's a special occasion. I'm celebrating. Sorry, boss. Can't help you. We're all booked for days. Oh, is that so? What kind of business are you running here? Just lost yourself a customer, you Russian asshole. Whatever you say, boss. I'd like to welcome our next guest on the show, famous from critically acclaimed movies such as Blue Ocean, The Calm, and Land of Trees, here's Martin Brown. Hi, Martin. How are you? I'm good. 
Now, your latest film is a bit of a step in a new direction for you. A lot of people are surprised by this. Some are even calling you a sellout. What's your response to that? Sellout, huh? Uh, how do you mean? Oh, some are just saying that Midnight Animal is just another slasher flick. That's not how I see it. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Kill kids, strangle them, beat people's heads in, rip their eyes out. Just listen to them scream, see them die in agony. I finally get to do that now. Okay. Don't look at me like that. What? I see, this is a dream, right? What do you mean? Oh god, look at, look at her eyes. Or his eyes, uh, I can't tell. This whole this is just a dream, right? I'm not sure I follow. Okay, pause! You think this is a dream? Well then, maybe it's time to wake up? Who are you? Who am I? I'm not the one being interviewed here, am I? I think I should be the one asking the questions. This movie you're making, you know how it ends. I believe there's a pretty big twist at the end, I doubt you'll like it. In fact, I don't think anyone will. Maybe you ought to get out before it's too late. I don't think so. You really don't enjoy... Or you really enjoy hurting other people, don't you? It's just a film. Just a film, huh? That's one way to look at it. It's like, what? What's, what's going on? Looks like the police is here. The girl must have told on you. You better go along obediently. They'll take you to her. That's what you want, isn't it? Hold it right there, sir. We're, we're here to arrest you. you. You need to come with us. We'll take you down to the station. Y you understand what I'm saying? We know what you've been up to, and you're gonna fry for it. The girls upstairs giving us a full statement right now. Soon they'll be on their way down here for you. Till then, you're stuck with me. I'd like to ask why you did what you did, but you don't even know yourself, do you? Look at you, you're fucked. Completely fucked in the head. Aren't you? Why else would anyone be killing kids in a pig's mask, huh? It's... the phone. You should answer it. I say it again. There is no phone. I don't see no phone, and I don't hear no phone, okay? It's just a figment of your imagination, Luigi. You hear me? You're insane. A maniac. Soon enough, you'll pay for your crimes. The, the telephone. You're not gonna answer. There's just no point talking to you, is there? You know what needs to be done. He's not even looking. It's like he wants you to kill him. Am I playing his jacket right now? Curious. Psycho killer. Keska say. No, right? Okay. Playing as an actor playing jacket. Gotcha. Maybe that was a spoiler. He's the star of the movie about Jacket, okay. 
Maybe I didn't get that because I missed the intro. Because the game wouldn't window properly. Double kill. It's gonna be okay, cops. No, everything's fine. Ah, shit. I wanted that double kill. That was a good kill. Probably gonna need a gun for that. You know what? I'm not gonna go for the double kill. It almost feels like using weapons in this game is like cheating. So I, I try to melee as much as possible, but I'm, I'm learning kind of not to give a shit about that. I mean, look at that combo. That's just a combo that wouldn't have happened if I was meleeing. Well, maybe. Maybe. Fuck. Still going. Somehow. Be safe. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Don't open the door till I get back, no matter what. Oh. Shit. This guy. Look at that guy. This guy's got moves and shit. Played by Jean Claude fucking Van Damme. You can't lock onto him either. Anticlimactic. See him! Fuck! It's gonna 
be okay. It's gonna be okay. Damn it! God, welcome to Hotline Miami, I guess. Miami. The frustration and rage is real. Pretty good fucking eyesight. Ah, stupid, stupid, stupid. Like you, you just saw the stupid happen. These fucking doors, man. I like the mask with the the killing doors from the previous game. That was a lot of fun. Doors are my, like, number one enemy. driving me insane. knock them down. You don't actually kill them. So you gotta do that. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking doors, please. Die. All right, are there any? Yeah. Get keys. I I love this game. I'm having so much fun for whoever asked if I'm having fun. Even though there's like a, an element of frustration to this game, I don't even care. I love it. Wait, what? I'm not your fuck 
fucking girlfriend. What? Cut! No need for a retake. That was perfect. Good job, guys. Spectacular performances. Only got a few more shots to shoot before we can move on to editing. Why don't you go grab something to eat while we pull up or put up the new set pieces? <laughs> Let's make sure you're back in 30 minutes, okay? Time is money. You heard him, Martin. Time to get up. Martin? Uh, you may have killed Martin by accident. So that was, I guess, a recreation of some of the events of the first game. The defendant claims that he was ordered to commit these murders through messages left on his answering machine. Did you investigate these claims? Yes, we did. And what did you find? While the defendant answering machine was empty, the tape had been removed. Did you find anything supporting these claims of threatening phone calls? Uh, no, sir, we did not. I see. No further questions. You say you found no physical evidence supporting my client's claims. And what about phone records? Surely the police have no difficulty accessing such information. Indeed, we did investigate the defendant's phone records. And did you find any calls on record that could support my client's claims? No, sir. Or oh, we did, sir. The defendant seems to have received phone calls that match the time frame, which... He suggests, but did you manage to trace these calls? If so, where did they come from? We traced the calls to a nightclub called the Golden Truck Stop. Yes. Now my client claims he was coerced by the Russian Mafia to commit these crimes for which he is now being prosecuted. Do the police have any knowledge of this, uh, of ties between the Golden Truck Stop and the Russian Mafia that could support my client's claims? The venue has been linked to several mob-related crimes in the past, yes. However, that will be all. Thank you. No further questions. The witness may step down. The court will now be adjourned. Proceedings will continue tomorrow at 11 a.m. Meanwhile, the defendant will remain in police custody. For those that never played the first game, you play as Jacket, a guy who gets phone calls from mysterious people that... Is, he can't explain why this is happening. And uh, I guess he's trying to defend himself here. You've reached the Miami Police Department. How may I help you? I would like to talk to Detective Pardo. Tell him it's from Evan. One moment, please. What do you want, Evan? I'm in the middle of something here. Hi, Manny. I'm at the courthouse doing research on that masked maniac. What's that got to do with me? Well, they mentioned golden truck stop. Something about mob connections? So? I was wondering if you know anyone there is I can talk to. It's privileged information. You know I can't talk about things like that. Look, I'm really busy here. Don't be like that now. You owe me one, remember? Fine. Go to Northwest 37th Avenue. Ask for Petrov and tell him I sent you. Can't promise we'll talk, but it's the only name I've got. Don't call me at work again, okay? No more favors. First trial. Oh, no shotgun in the trunk. Well, it's not really mine. I'm here to see Petrov. Tell him Detective Pardo sent me. I don't think so. If you have an invitation, you if you don't have an invitation, you better leave. How's that for how's that for an invitation? <laughs> Is he trying to help him? It didn't work. Help, somebody call an ambulance. There's been an accident. Is there anyone here? It's been a horrible accident. Oh, shit. I 
I guess this is non-lethal. Gee, they're sure not observing non-lethal. The rules and the regulations of RP! Ah, why did I stand in the doorway like an idiot? There's an achievement for uh, going non-lethal in this. It's too late, right? Because I killed the doorman. Oh, you just disassemble the weapons. You can't actually use them. It's a fucking Batman. No! Fuck! I got stuck. Doorman doesn't count. Alright. Maybe I can still get this achievement. Well, then again, I can't go lethal because I can't use the weapons. Can't pick up knives. They don't obey the laws and regulations of RP. punch them and then beat the shit out of them while they're on the ground, apparently, and that counts as lethal. See, that's- that's fucking- that guy sucks. That guy ruins combo potential. Fuck that guy. Th fuck that guy, too. Like, I'm trying not to, like, kill these guys, just leave them with permanent brain damage. And they can't detect my altruism. Fuck that shotgun. Seriously. <laughs> you know what? That's not- that's not the- we're not going that way again. Yeah, fuck you! And that, that good fucking score I just got sticks now. I wonder if a golf club hurts more than a baseball bat. I just realized I turn into the scientists from Half-Life 1 when I play this game. I wonder 
if the cronies will notice. The hell are you? I'm about to get fucking murdered. Are you Petrov? Writing a book about the masked maniac. Detective Pardo told me I could talk to you about it. Detective Pardo told you that. He is a friend of yours? That's right, sir. I'm not a very good friend, I take it. Sending you here of all places. No, I reckon you're right about that, sir. This book you're writing, it must be very important to you. Risking your life to come talk to me. You sure got balls. Uh, what is it you want to know? You get two questions, then you get the fuck out of here. All right. Police claims the masked murderers were part of a vigilante movement. Are you of the same opinion? No. I don't think they were vigilantes. They were much too organized. They knew our exact locations and had insights into our inner workings. I don't know what they were a part of, but it was no group of vigilantes. Why do you think they targeted the Russian Mafia specifically? What were they after? I can't tell you what they were after, but they effectively destroyed our whole organization. Then they were gone. They knew what they were doing, and they seemed to be trained very well. We caught a couple of them alive, tried to break them. None of them talked, not a single one. Alright, no more questions. Get the hell out of my sight. Uh, hey guys. You, you guys gonna be alright? Just take that, just in case. You guys are gonna be fine, right? Yeah, you guys are alright. Yeah. Silly, silly bastards, you. Any achievements? D plus! Come on! I had a fucking 10 linked combo. What a day. Did something happen? No. Well, yeah. That guy Petrov, he wouldn't see me. Almost got beaten up just trying to get in. <laughs> you don't actually... You actually went there? I didn't figure you would. And sometimes I wonder why, uh, I hang out with you. Did you become such a douchebag? I did tell you to write about the Miami Mutal later. Instead, didn't I? Much more sophisticated case, really. You wouldn't have to talk to the mob. People will have forgotten about those vigilantes by the time your book's out. Besides, bought you a beer, right? You didn't really get hurt, did you? Let's call it even, huh? Thanks for the beer and all, uh, but you still owe me one. Alright, alright. Don't forget I'm putting my job on the line. If anyone finds out I'm giving you leads, that'll be it for me. Be fired for incompetence or misconduct before that happens. I'm surprised they haven't fired you already. I'm tired. Let's get out of here. About some sleep, too. You want a ride? I'll take my chances on the bus. So we're going somewhere special tonight, huh? Yeah, my friend. I'd read Jack to be with this place in Nerds with this really rush street. We have shit her with our babies occupied by turkeys in their lives. I can't do that voice anymore. Kinda like this place, huh? Fuck you, Mark. <laughs> anyway, his sister's been hanging out with these assholes. Hasn't been home for weeks. Figured we'd get her home, teach her friends a lesson. Wait, we're doing house calls for your friends now, are we? It's pretty much what we did last time. I didn't hear any complaints back then. I can't patrol the streets looking for scumbags. It'd be in jail in no time. I'm gonna sign up to be no hero, rescuing women and shit. That's not my thing, I just want some action. So you got any better ideas, or should we stay here and argue all night? Sure as hell ain't staying here, I'm ready to roll. Fine, I'll come along too. If anything happens to the girl, it's not my problem. Got it? Nice fucking car. Holy shit. Killing punches, no weapons. I'm not doing that right now.
Son of a bitch. Getting stuck on walls is a very real problem for me. I can see Tony being useful for this mission. Ah, oh, damn. I almost pulled some sneaky shit. I always forget that I have the role with this mask. This, this level, this a gun. Music is amazing, by the way. Just want to point that out. There's a lot of fucking guys in there. Damn! Fucking shotgun. Sorry, dogs. Spray and pray.
just like one guy. That last time, that pissed me off so bad. Yeah! That every time sucks. <laughs> it's like every time you get good at one part, and then every and now and then. You lose... Alright, so maybe I'm not saying the sentence right, but... You know, like, when you get a part really good, and then for some reason you just lose it? That's happening to me right now. Yeah, shoot blind! Yeah, shoot blind! Combo! 11 times combo! Didn't even know who I was shooting half the time. Yeah! Yeah, big the cat! So big! Dead! 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 Sorry. Pretty fucking nice combo that I mostly didn't earn. I thought I had a loaded weapon for a second. I did not. Here he is, the last scumbag. That's the guy that fucking killed me last time. God damn that scumbag. Did I just knock a bong over? Stay back! Just take it easy there. I'm just here to get you. Your brother sent us. We're not going to harm you. M my brother? You just killed all my friends! Look, we've got a car waiting outside. Drop the gun. It's time to go. We'll drop you off at your brother's. You expect me to go with you? Are you insane? You murdered my friends. You're not taking me anywhere. Leave me the fuck alone. Or I swear... Fine. You have it your way. We're out of here. Wait, really? No! Zebra's a woman? I didn't know that. But I'm dead now. What the fuck? The mission was over, man. We got off the rodeo. The rodeo was, was done. The rodeo. Guys, the rodeo. I thought we, we were off this rodeo and she killed me. This 
sucks. Just completed this mission, and I did really well, too. Always... some of my combo, sadly. It's okay, I started a new one. Jeez, I'm fucking dead. Get the fuck out of here. Screw this. She's invincible, apparently. So, we'll just leave her to her devices. Go talk to her, Vinny. Best advice from the chat. Go talk to her, Vinny. Yeah, I got the duck. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I'm duck now. You done anytime soon? This isn't a good time to be messing around. If a cop came by, saw us like this. It ain't gonna go faster with you bitching, okay? Besides, I've already been telling you to get the van, van fixed for weeks now. Right, I still don't see why that'd be my job. It's not my van. Just fucking do it! You're the only one of us who ain't busy with work all day. That delivery of that line, holy shit, I could be an actor. Take it down to Andy, or the chop shop. He owes me one. Fine, just get the car running and I'll do it tomorrow, okay? There, that should do it. Try starting her up and let's get the hell out of here. Inconspicuous van. No one will know. I mean, to me, that's just the height of opulence. Where you, you fucking own a shark. What's the matter? You look a little nervous. Well, boss. Something you need to say? Just say it. Look, we've known each other for a long time now, boss. Uh, you've done a lot for me. No need to be polite. Cut to the point. Uh, all right, I want out. I'm getting too old for this. Feeling too soft. Too soft? Too soft for what? Shooting people. Putting my ass on the line. I've had a feeling I'm not gonna last much longer for a while now. Been having these dreams. Dreams, huh? You want out? You're out. First, you have to take care of some business for me, okay? <sighs> what business? Nothing big as Chop Shop downtown, Northwest 32nd Avenue. They're with the Colombians now. Won't uh, give us a cut no more. Don't worry, they're just hoodlums. Nothing you can't handle. Uh, then I'm out? Yes. Uh, you're free to come back anytime you change your mind. This parting gift, grab a sample of our new product here. Might spice up this new boring lifestyle you've chosen. I like all the different playable characters. It's really good. I want that car. I want to get in that one. That one's awesome. Oh, hi, Mark.
fucking skateboard? Yup, it's a skateboard. Alright, fuck the windows. Fuck melee, I'm not using the skateboard. Fucking didn't even see that cunt. This this weapon is clearly the best play for for this level. That is not a pillar. That was not a pillar. God damn it. And now I do worse. Fuck you. Nope. Okay, well, I need to get the skateboard. This is very important. I'm using the skateboard for the next level. Yeah, cowabunga, assholes! Jesus, that's a lot of guns. I want a fucking Lambo. Skateboard is the best choice for this one, this level. Damn it! If only I could do a dodge roll. That would make my life so much easier right now. friend dies, he doesn't even fucking bat an eye. 
Maybe they weren't friends. Maybe maybe I'm presuming they were friends. Maybe they hated each other. His colleague died, sorry. Okay, let's just go ahead and leave the skateboard where it is. If it's one thing we've learned from years of Vine Sauce and from me streaming, it's do not presume. That you, you can't presume. You have to just... You know, that's that's like a lesson. Like that Indian guy, he was like teaching us important lessons. Like do not have expectations. Don't presume. Just live your life with no expectation. And enjoy. Gonna be like a very efficient way to do this. I think that was pretty efficient. It's pretty efficient, I'd say. left. And the dog, dog! Dog! Fucking dog. That was like the last thing left too. Fucking hell. Not this time. Man's worst nightmare. This guy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Crazy. Crazy, man. Okay, I've got the bag. Oh, who the hell are you? Thought you could get away, huh? Get away, I just work here. Who are you? I don't know if this guy's Russian or not. Freaking me out, man. It's your lucky day today, kid. This bag here just saved your life. Getting out of here, you probably should do the same. Now, out of my way. Hi, honey, welcome home. I made you dinner. It's in the fridge. I'll eat it later. I'm not that hungry right now. I've got the door beating me in the ass. Oh, you had a rough day? I'm not sure. I just quit my job. 
You quit your job just like that? Your boss just let you? I thought you said... Look, I'm out and that's that. Speaking of which, I've got a surprise for you, but... What? What is it? You'll see tomorrow, okay? I'm feeling a bit too tired right now. I'm going to head straight for bed. You gonna stay up for a while? I'm just uh, gonna finish this show. I'll be up in a minute. <laughs> My best efforts at voice act uh, acting. My best attempt. Family of five from burn alive. What's believed to be another arson indicate. Incident seems to be the latest in a wave of anti-Russian hate crimes. No one will ever find it under debate. <laughs> Get this fucking guy. You're listening to WYL Miami Radio, bringing you the fresh new music each day. What you like, whenever you like. That's our motto. It's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining and the sky is clear. You can't go wrong with weather like this, that's for sure. Later today, we'll be premiering a hot new single from Pertub Pertubator. Meanwhile, here's another song by everyone's favorite, Mitch. Beep -bizz. We interrupt this broadcast for an emergency weather report. A tropical storm is headed towards Florida, coming from the Atlantic. Estimated to reach Miami by 7 p.m. We caution all residents to... <sighs> nice car you've got here. Oh, where are we going? Going away. Far, far away. Anywhere. Doesn't matter to me. Are you sure? Even know where you're heading? Without directions, a lot of people wind up going around in circles. This road don't look too promising. Didn't ask for your opinion. What if I told you that this road leads to nowhere? Or rather, that you're headed for a dead end. That's where you're going. You're closing in on it. Closing in fast. But you already know that, don't you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, you'll see soon enough. By the way, uh, did you forget to bring your girlfriend? You can't see the bottom half of the thing. Wrong cropping. Again, that's automatic cropping. Your crop is cutting off dialogue. That's... Yep. Medi. Oh. Does this game save? See, again, that's that's kind of the problem with the autocrop. And this game's native resolution is weird. And it won't let me uh, change it, so. It's either that or black bars on the left and right side of the screen. Um, the game auto saves. Alright, well, I've, I think I've had enough Hotline Miami for now. I want to play some Isaac. Did quite a few missions. Um, I love this game. I think it, it is wonderful. The story is, is great. The characters are weird. Um, the gameplay is tight. The fucking... The new kind of... Well, there's really not new weapons, but yeah, there's a few little things. Um, it is a really good game. We're going to do some Binding of Isaac now, though. So, you know, that should be good, too. But yeah, we'll do Hotline Miami 2 again soon. Um, it's a great game, and I will definitely be coming back to it. And it seems like you guys enjoyed it. Uh, all right, so why don't you just stick around for a few minutes? I am going to take a quick break. I'm going to get something to eat, like a quick snack, and then I will return with Binding of Isaac. Rebirth. Or as I spelled it, Rebith. Whoops. Be right back. Um, I'm going to probably, after this, I'll probably um, take like an hour or two. And then maybe I'll return. I'm not sure. Like tonight, I'm thinking about working on a song. And if I don't do that, I will stream some Bayonetta 2 or Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm not sure yet. We're going to think about that. But uh, anyway, 
we'll rebith in a bit. See you guys in two minutes. Jesus, speaking of typos, this BRB has one too, but I'm not sure if it was intentional or not. Be right back.